holidays we're looking ahead to. It, so everything busy. We're just busy every single weekend, yeah. right? From parties, get-togethers, to the end of the year, work parties, tasks, and of course, all the gifts. Yeah. You gotta buy the gifts. So how do you manage all that extra stress? We're checking in with psychologist Dr. Laura Saunders to get some extra tips, expert tips. Good morning, Doc. How are you today? I am well. Hello, friends, and happy Thursday. Happy you know, Thursday. It, it just seems like you complete one task, and there's another one that's coming up. That, Like I told Nicole I was finished with my Christmas card. She hasn't even started. <laughs> and, and I'm I, stressed and, about it. And, and we're all stressed <laughs> about every little thing that comes our direction. Uh, so this should be a time of year where there are happy things going on and and and, you know, family gatherings and friend gatherings, but oftentimes it actually, all of that can be quite stressful because it's like you're trying to pack in a year's worth of, of fun and gathering into, you know, four to six weeks. And it really gets overwhelming for people. You know, another factor, Dr. Saunders, is all the sickness that's going around for any families that have some young kids. I have a three-month-old at home. I'm stressed out even about the large family gatherings, let alone the politics and things that could also arise. How do you recommend uh, navigating through those waters? Right. So uh, these are, are, are very interesting times, right? It's not the past couple of years, two to three years, where it's like was so heavy with the, the COVID. Um, but now it's changed our consciousness, and we just think about these things more. Um, so it is okay as parents uh, to set boundaries and say, you know, it's to send your kids to bed a little early if you're if you think they're not feeling well, or if you want to keep them away from some of the adults if it's an adult event. Um, you know, keep for all of us, it's about keeping our healthy habits, our sleep, our nutrition. Uh, doing the things that make us feel better about ourselves. Um, so it's trying as much as possible to keep up our healthy habits. That's what keep us going. And setting boundaries when necessary. Yeah. Saying no and setting boundaries is really important this time of year. How can you reduce tension with family members or friends that you might not agree with all the time? So this is not the time to resolve uh, lifelong political divides or to solve, you know, the world's problems to decide peace in the Middle East. This is not the time of year for that. So focus on what you have in common. Focus on what is is good. Try to, you know, try to reshift your focus onto those things that make it points, what we call points of connection. So, you know, something you have in common, ask someone a question about themselves. Um, this is not the time to solve those kind of world problems. But why is opening up to someone maybe about some other topics, right, especially important this time of year? I think it's really important to remember that, well, some people love the holidays and they love their Hallmark movies and, and they love it, the traditions. For some people, it's actually a very sad time. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, people who've had losses, even just any loss, the holidays accentuate those losses. So for those people that are struggling, I don't want them to hold on to it. Tell a friend, listen, I'm really struggling this year. I miss my mother, father, sibling, you know, partner, whatever it is, pet, right? Whatever it is, this is a time where it really accentuates losses as well. But I don't want you to hold on to that. I want you to release it and tell someone that you're struggling. Uh, and, and, you know, it's probably too late for this year, but we should start planning these, like, uh, these tactics weeks uh, ahead of the holly holiday season, right? Like weeks and even months. Yes, I think as we start, you know, as we start to come into fall, right, where it starts to get a little darker, it's a little colder, we start to work on our healthy habits. We, we do need a little bit of vitamin D every day, so getting out, going for a walk, reading a book. Uh, talking to a friend, watching a funny movie, doing things that help you feel good, keeping your habits healthy, getting enough sleep, getting good nutrition. Um, as much as we can do those things, it just keeps us happier and healthier. And next week, we're going to talk about how to shake off those rude or intrusive comments that seem especially prevalent this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how to handle all the rude comments from family members. My favorite episode. Yeah, that's right, from my favorite episode, too. All right, good to talk to you, Dr. Laura. Thanks, Dr. Saunders. Have a